and welcome back to the final chapter of the Sculpty Paint tutorial. Um, Sculpty Paint, of course, by Cell Edmund, uh, program, free program, uh, Java program, uh, that allows you to create sculpted prims or edit sculpted prims uh, for use in Second Life. Uh, now, the reason that I did this tutorial in the first place was because my good friend Ed Bumstead, uh, he didn't understand this program. Uh, to be honest, I don't blame him. It's a really hard program to learn. Uh, not laid out very intuitively, and as you've seen though, it didn't take all that long to work out. Um, but the reason that I started this was because he had some sculpted ducks, which he made in Blender, and uh, they're facing the wrong way. Uh, he wanted to use them as physical objects, and they're coming out backwards. So they're all quacked up, and now we need to get them pointed around the right way. Now there are in fact five sculpts. We're going to go through this fairly quickly. Uh, you've had most of the tutorial, hopefully. If you haven't, please go back and watch those. In the meantime, uh, here is how we do it. Uh, load sculpt image, we hit that, and we go down to the open thing. Now, of course, it pops up in my documents, which is useless because that's not where we're going. Uh, the ducks in this case are in a folder called ducks on my desktop, and let's load up one and see what happens. Alright, here are Ed's ducks. Now we know for a fact that they are pointing in the correct direction upwards. So that means that this is actually the back and this is the front. So what we need to do is we need to go over to the point tool and we need to select the whole darn thing like so. And then in the Z direction we need to rotate one, two, three, four, one, two, three, Four. And then we're going to go ahead and save 64 by 64, and it saves as Sculpt 2009, February 20th, 23 p.m., blah, blah, blah. Okay, it saves as some random number. All right, now let's load up the next one, because we're actually done with that one already. So we're going to pop open the ducks, grab the second one, number 401, and look, we didn't have to rotate it again still selected all the way, so let's tap it around into the right direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and save it. And it's saved. And now we will load up another one. Just hop again. And number three. And we will tap it around. And we'll save this one. Notice I'm not resizing the sculpt. That would uh, mess up any of the animation that he's already done on this case. I would normally resize the sculpts to maximize them, but I don't want to throw them out of true for what he's already got. Uh, let's go ahead and load up the next one. This was uh, number three, I think. I hope. That's okay. Uh, desktop. And... Okay, sorry, I get a little... Get a little confused sometimes. All right. Um, one, two, three, four. And that line is coming out of his little throat there. Uh, let's just double check, make sure we got him lined up on his center. Yeah, that looks, that looks lined up, I think, pretty much. I'm going to go ahead and tap this once more. Yeah, he's definitely in the right place. OK, and we'll save it. And then we'll grab one more. And that's number five. Little ducky number five. Okay. And one, two, three, four. This is a Java program, like I've said before, and that means it's a little slow and sometimes doesn't quite respond as I'd want it to. Uh, so the occasional click sometimes gets lost. A uh, nice thing to know is that the medium setting, the medium step size here for rotation, four clicks is 90 degrees. I don't know why, but there you go. All right, well, that's uh, that's those five sculpts now. I'm going to go ahead and load. Actually, I'm not going to bother loading one of those because I'm not entirely sure where they all are, but uh, I, I know where they are. I'm just not going to. 
bother you with them here. Actually, you know what? I am going to bother you with them here, because those things all saved in the Sculpty Paint folder, which is in fact here. And you'll see I, I made some floating rocks at one point, but down here you're going to see that here are the la latest February 20th, one, two, three, four, five of them here. And if I were to double click one of those, it'll open up an earthen view for no good reason. Uh, but you can see there, there's my sculpt map. And if I pop open, uh, let's see, do I have that folder? No, I don't. Okay. I'm just going to pop open the same one here so we can see the difference between the two sculpt maps. Uh, let's see. Oops, excuse me. There we go. You can see that there is some similarity in the shaping, but the colors are like inverted somehow, and that's just the weirdness of how sculpts work. Uh, there is some truth to the fact that it is in fact inverted, um, but uh, I'm not exactly sure how, and I, I don't want to get into all that right now. This is about Sculpty Paint. Uh, <laughs> Sculpty Paint, cool program. I love it. Um, but it's not the easiest program in the world to use, um, and I'm not going to bother with that right now. What I'm going to do is say thank you very much for your time, and uh, don't overuse sculpts. Don't make your sculpt maps too big. Uh, that's it. Um, thanks for watching, and see you next time, I guess.